Virgo. Welcome. Thanks so much for coming in. I appreciate it. We're going to do a reading for the month of November. See how things go. Please only take with you what resonates and leave the rest behind. And this is for your sun, moon, and rising. So you might check your other placements for a more complete picture. Or if this reading doesn't resonate with you. Okay? Let's see what we have. Life is a mystery. Okay then. We'll have to wait and see. Now at the bottom, you have the white raven spirit. Trust in the magic. So that's gorgeous. Life being a mystery, it kind of is. Mm -hmm. But it could be you're feeling that way because something's going on during this month for you. It's making it more of a mystery. Okay, let's get a Moonology card, see what we have here. Show the world the real you. Okay. So that means you being truly you. And oftentimes, you know, we can be very real, but we put on our public face, you know, and at home we have our private one, that kind of thing. And then sometimes in public, we put on a whole different persona. And this is saying, of course, you know, it would be the public you, but be the real you. Okay, your current energy is the lovers. So that can say that there could be a romantic relationship coming in for you. You might know the person, you might not. It could also be saying that there's a major decision that you need to make during this time. And your challenge is to stay out of negative emotions that you are bringing in yourself. Negative emotions, thoughts, you know, the kind that are extremely troublesome. Your challenge is to make for sure you stay out of that. Okay, let's get a card for your past. This is saying in your past, you are either being strategic in what you were doing, or he was saying you needed to be honest with yourself. It could be either one. Okay, now what you're thinking about, you know, your desires is balance. You want a give and take energy. You want balance in your life. Your strength is staying out of apathy, right? Or meh energy. Your strength is being interested in what you are doing, which is beautiful. And looking at this, you know, it is possible that this could be saying, if this is a romantic relationship, that there are challenges with it. Mm -hmm. And so that could also fit right in there if that's the case. Okay, let's get a card for the future. One more. Very positive, fast-moving energy. The King of Cups, who's in total control of his emotions and his life. He feels all his emotions and he acts on them, but he does not let them control him. So this would be a wonderful energy to use for this. Yeah. Take on the King of Cups energy to get you out of this. And you have the star, another beautiful energy. You have healing here for you to use here if you'd like to. And it's saying if there's something that you truly want, you can have it. It's yours. You know, it's like your North Star, right? Wish upon a star. And here it's saying there's something you're really adamant about going for. It's a powerful energy, and you are going to go for it. And at the bottom of the deck, you have the Ace of Cups, which is talking about having a new beginning, one that's filled with love. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's get a card for how to proceed forward. 
<laughs> with love. It's a learning energy, but it's one where you want to get something started, okay? And it is a cup's energy. So love and intuition. So go forward with love. And what you do see is another learning energy. This is where you want to get something started. Okay, you're ready to go. So both of these, you're ready to go. How to go forward is being ready to go, learn about it. And what you do see is you're ready to go and you're going to learn about it. Now this can have to do with love and intuition. And this is a more earthy. You know, it could doesn't have to, but it could potentially be something to do with um, finances, career, that kind of thing. And both of these are slower moving energies. Okay, let's see what you don't see. Okay, right now you are feeling caught up in your emotions, which you have right here. Only here, you're like you're feeling stuck. You don't see it, but it's going to come to light. Okay, let's see what your future says. Or, I'm sorry, your outcome. Transformation, a big transformation. And at the bottom of the deck, try to put here, you have victory. So whatever's going on, you are going to be victorious over it. Okay, let's clarify. Okay, let's get a card for your overall energy. I'm going to scoot this down here. <coughs> Excuse me. I think allergies are out. Beautiful. You have the sun. Very best energy in the tarot. This is saying happiness is going to flow in. Abundance, joy, um, finances, whatever it is that you're wanting, it will be flowing in for you. Absolutely beautiful. So either the major decision is going to prove to be a beautiful decision, or it could have something to do with a romantic relationship. Let's see about the Nine of Swords. Okay, you have the Magician. So this is a card of manifesting, which would say you're getting out of this Nine of Swords energy. Manifesting, you have everything you need with you and within you to create the reality that you want. And it does not have to be a romantic relationship, but part of what I'm feeling, it is possible that you could be having or have had trouble with your romantic relationship, but that things might very well be repairing through efforts involved and you know, you're making the right decisions. Okay, let's get a card for your past. This is the Six of Pentacles where you're bringing in the balance. Yeah, so this just would go right in with here. You know, here it's talking about being true to yourself or being strategic, right, in what you're wanting to go for. And then over here, you have a major decision or a romantic relationship, which is being clarified by the very best card in the deck, where things are going to flow to you. And here, it's where it's so challenging, you can't even sleep at night. Being clarified by the magician, which is where you're manifesting. So, these cards, your initial cards, could potentially be challenging and having to do with romance, or a major decision you're making. But the clarifications are gorgeous. So it looks like things were starting to go in a nifty way, but it's all coming together. Okay. Now let's see about your thoughts on things. You have balance and where you want this give and take energy. Okay. And this just kind of flipped right out. Yeah. Beautiful. 
very positive, fast-moving energy coming right into you. And it could be in the form of communication. And your strength is staying out of challenging energies. <laughs> and happiness. So, yeah, beautiful. You're staying out of challenging energies and making for sure you stay in your happiness. Okay. Future. You have the same cards repeating in a few different places, so you might keep your eyes open for synchronicities. And it's also the universe's way of saying I meant what I said. And you have the King of Cups, beautiful energy, the Star, and the Chariot. This card, <laughs> very interesting, is the very same as this card. Okay, so the way I'm seeing this is here you are, beautiful energy, being in control of your emotions, your wishes coming true, and you being very adamant about going for what it is you want. And that is taking the place of this. This to me is referring to the challenges here. And you're not going to go for it. You're going to stay out of that energy. Okay, how to go forward, and you have by learning and getting prepared. And it's a slow energy, and it's about love. Here you have the Empress, very powerful. Uh, it's kind of like the sun. When I get the sun and the Empress together, it's a wonderful combination because a lot of the things are similar. You know, happiness flows in, happiness flows in, love, love flow in, joy, joy flow in. You know, everything flows in because of the sun and the empress. Now, the empress also has a lot of ideas that she nurtures. So you have a lot of power in how to go forward. It's saying going, go forward with belief, knowing these things are coming to you, all right? Now, you might have to learn a little first. You might not, but you're ready to go. And this is saying do it. Okay, what you do see is the Knight of Cups, which is a slower moving energy. But that's where you want to surround yourself with love. Or it could be love for love's sake. Or that there is something to do with romance. But you are really ready to go forward and you are working on it. Okay, now let's see what you don't see. You're not seeing that you feel all tied up. You know, that you feel stuck. And here you have the Queen of Pentacles, who's very grounded. And she's very well balanced. Okay? So that would say to me that you're getting out of this challenging energy and into this beautiful energy. Her career's fine. Her uh, pinnacles are great. Her home life's filled with love. And she balances everything beautifully. Where down here, the Eight of Swords is just filled with stuck energy. Okay, let's see the outcome. You have a big transformation. Mm -hmm. And it's a major arcana, so it probably is a big transformation. Yeah. You have the Hermit. And the hermit is telling you, go within because you will search for your enlightenment and find it, which will help you with your new beginning. And at the bottom of the deck, you have the star, which you have right there again. So you have a lot of repeats. And one of the things, interestingly enough, maybe this is where life is a mystery that's coming into me. There are some challenging cards throughout here. But the clarifying cards were countering to me almost all of the challenging cards. These being an exception, and this one. Everything else, it was like, if there was a problem, here was a great answer. Okay? So if you find yourself having problems, do realize that there are going to be wonderfully beautiful solutions. Okay.
that really might be where this mystery is coming in because I don't know how many readings I've done and something like this just about never comes out where there is a challenge and uh, the clarifying card is great or the clarifying card is a challenge and what's underneath it is great and this is what you have almost throughout now here at the bottom of the deck is victory and the star you're going to be victorious let's go ahead and get some cards from the universe see what they would like to share okay seven of swords seven of swords so this is just confirmation mm -hmm. yeah either being strategic sneaky maybe it's you needing to be true to yourself but it's just confirmation of what's already there beautiful this is saying there's going to be very fast moving positive energy coming into you and it could be doesn't have to be but in the form of communication um, so there could be some great news coming in and the seven of swords just to let you know has come out three times so the universe is really trying to tell you something with that okay and you have the queen of wands fabulous that's saying you're very determined to go for your passion. So that's what you're going to do. And at the bottom of the deck, you have the Two of Wands. And the Two of Wands talks about you know where you want to go and you're just strategizing on how you are going to get there. So like I said, this reading is kind of interesting in that you have a challenge and it's clarified by something gorgeous. Or, you know, here's the flip of that. The only exception is these two. But, so the reading as a whole, even though there's little challenges scattered here or there, and not all of them are challenges, okay? Like, this is not a challenge, right? But uh, um, even though there are challenges, what's coming from them is very good. So I do get the feeling that a lot of what this is is going back to the past and that what is coming is really really gorgeous okay one more thing i wanted to mention since this did come out three different times all right here it is but the this is what's coming from it right here it is the balance is coming and this from the universe is saying you know take a look at these make for sure you know they're there so it is talking about a hasty decision potentially greed thoughtless behavior or the potential that someone is acting in an impulsive fashion it could be secret plans um, frustration that kind of thing so it's important to be honest with yourself. And if you are using a strategy of some sort, you still make for sure you're being honest with yourself. But just kind of a heads up that if it's somebody else, then they might not have your best interest at heart. Okay? Just wanted to make sure I put that in there. But don't get too stressed over it because... You have so many beautiful cards here. Yeah, wonderful. And you have the sun. Okay, let's get a few charms and see what comes out. Okay, you have a baby buggy. And for me, anything that is transportation, even a baby buggy, means you're going forward. Now this, since it is a baby buggy, could mean that this is very precious to you whatever this is whatever you're going for means a lot to you okay it's you know how important babies are right and here you have this multi-tool and to me like i don't know why but it kind of makes me think of this right maybe it's because of all these swords right 
But so me, for me, what this would be saying is not to worry about these because you have everything that you could possibly want or need in order to take care of the situation correctly. And the end result is everything's going to be beautiful and there's going to be much love. So thank you so much. I truly hope this helps. Have a great month. Much love.